Hi guys, it's Chelsea, LBC Party of Five. It is a Saturday morning, it's just me and the baby here. And I gotta tell y'all, like this has been such a incredible journey and I don't want to, um, I don't want to gloss past everything that has been good because it really has been good. Um, but this is Tea Talk, Wives Tales, so I need to get real with y'all um, and keep it real and share the not so good stuff with the good stuff, right? And I'm sorry for my appearance. I know the natural light is good, but it ain't doing nothing good for my face right now. I'm looking crazy, um, but y'all won't judge, <laughs> okay? Y'all won't judge. Um, there's been quite a few things that have been going on and they're just like little, little, you know, those little annoying things that you can't stand, but it irks you. So it's like, sometimes it blows up into things that are bigger. That's kind of like the little things that have been going on. Not that we have been fighting, but I've been swallowing a lot of shit. Excuse my language. And that is so out of my character. I'm used to being like, I'm a, I'm a bulldog. I'm a pit bull. Like I'm always ready to fight and being trying to be extra sensitive with Chris. I've been learning that that's, that may not be the best way of communicating always, you know, like being ready to fight and thinking everybody wants to fight. So I'm like always on attack mode. Um, I've been getting a lot better with that. Not even outside of this transition. I've been getting a lot better with that but I have been even more considerate and trying to be more understanding of it being that Chris is going through this transition so I have been super 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 patient but this week guys this has been real hard <laughs> this has been real hard um, and most of the things are little things um, but then sometimes like this last night was a little crazy oh Carter wants to say hi you want to say hi 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 <laughs> you just me and the baby. Ah! <laughs> you talking about your daddy? This one here got the same problem. You taking after your father. You I taking after your father me. the way you treat me. Sometimes you treat me like animals. Sometimes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> anyway, let's see if she, how long she allows me to do this. Um. I can't. What? Okay. What? What you got to say? You watching TV, you ain't got nothing to say. Okay, so, um, example. Last night, we are um, just watching TV, watching and starting a new show together to see how we like it. And my son, our son was up here just, I forgot what he was doing, maybe like putting away dishes or something like that, because that's one of his chores. And he wanted to be able to play, so he wanted to make sure there was no reason for us to call him up. And he was finishing up his chores. The show, you could tell what it was building up to be. There was like a little sex scene in it. And my son is not, even though that's not something that's appropriate that we would watch in front of our children anyway, but he is very, very, he, he doesn't like that kind of stuff. Like he doesn't want nothing to do with it. He doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to see it, which is good. Like I hope that stays for a while, even though he's about to be 15. Um, but I knew it was coming up. You could tell that the scenes were building up to that. So I asked Chris, who had the remote in hand or on, on his lap, and I was like, yo, just pause it real quick because, you know, it's about to go down. Pause it. Yo. He looks at me, acknowledges, and then doesn't do anything. So I'm like, yo, babe, babe, it's going to, you know, give me, the, give me the remote or babe, press pause or whatever. And I don't know what happened, but in that split second, Chris tried to, like, I, I don't know if he took that as fighting words. I don't know what the hell that was, but he ended up throwing the remote. And the remote, I wish I could show y'all. I don't even have it on me, but it's tiny. It's like this big. It's a little, it's an Apple TV remote, so it doesn't have any weight. It really doesn't hurt if you got hit by it. But just the fact that you did that, like, you really just had an outburst and threw the thing at me. Even though I know he said he just meant to toss it, but you don't know your own strength and we're not that far away from each other. We're sitting together on the couch. I just couldn't reach it. But what was the big deal? What was the big deal about the damn remote? All I'm doing is asking you to pause it so he can't see or hear it until he went back downstairs, which we knew was going to be shortly after, you know, shortly after. So I, I don't understand what the big deal was. 
and I did say something. I said, was that really that necessary? But then I felt myself going there. So I just stopped and we were quiet until we were down, you know, back downstairs. But it's just like, it's little things like that. But this time it was escalated. Like he actually threw something at me. There's already water in here, baby. Sorry if I'm distracted. It's the only one here with her. Um, but yeah, just little, little things like that. But I'm sure that happens in any relationship. You know what I mean? So I'm not taking that. I'm not attributing that to the T, but I know that it does have, it's a little bit more heightened. And that's how quick things can just flip in Chris's mind. And I don't, how am I supposed to know that you're feeling some kind of way? How am I supposed to know that unless you express it? We're just sitting here watching the show and I'm thinking we're having a good old time. And then I get a remote thrown at me. Like, what the hell was that? I don't know. This is about my feelings, and I, don't, I feel so disrespected, and I feel like I'm being so super patient that you can at least, even if you have those outbursts, I'm okay with that, as long as you come correct. Like, the next time you come at me, you come correct. You apologize and acknowledge that that's what you did and that you was wrong for it, because then I know that you're trying, you know what I mean? But if I have to pry that shit out of you the next time we talk, like, you didn't see nothing wrong with that. So we had a conversation earlier this morning about it, and I know it's not the end of it because I didn't feel no better, no worse after the conversation. But then again, Chris was at work, so he's got to be a little edited, you know. But it's just, it's its a lot. It is, it is really a lot to have to deal with because I constantly feel like I have to sacrifice what my needs are and just sacrifice myself just to make sure that he's good you know what I mean and on a normal basis on a regular basis I'm fine with that I'm cool I don't need to be center of attention I don't need to like I'm used to coming last. as a mom I'm used to coming last so that's not that big of a deal for me but you would think that I guess in my mind when there's something that that I'm expressing that hey I need you to you know try try your best to do this and if I feel like it's not you're not even trying that's a problem for me it really is a problem for me not so much so where not so much so where I'm saying it's something that I would, you know, like we would break up over, but it's a lot to deal with because I'm already dealing with a lot. Why are you so okay. You want to talk? Yeah. Ooh, the light is looking good on you, girl. Want to get the people kisses? Mmm. Is so cute. I love her. She's like my comic relief. Wait, I can't stay mad. I can't stay mad when you're around, right, people? I can't stay mad. I'm sorry if this is going to be all over the place. This might not even be uploaded. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I might have some more to speak on after, well, after Chris gets home and when we really, you know, have a real conversation about this. Um, but pray for us, guys. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to say it's something that we're going to break up over, but it is hard. It is hard. And I want to be sure to, you know, show you guys what's what's real. Like, it's not... Oh, most of it is great. But I want to be sure to, you know, bring you guys into the not-so-great things as well. So, if this is something... If you have any tools, any anything that you've, you have used or you have experienced in the past that has helped you in communicating with your partner... Um, let me know. I'll try anything. I want to be as supportive as possible, but I also don't want to lose myself. But this is also very helpful to me to be able to talk to you guys and get your feedback. So maybe I'll be back again to finish off this vlog. If not, um, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't take this as me being negative or ranting. Um, because I'm really not one to really complain a lot, so... Um, thank you for taking this journey with me and for being so supportive thus far. I really love you guys for, you know, for that. And we'll see you soon. See you next time. Bye.